I'm here with uh, four nice people. That's Diana and Jean and Tom and Brandon. And uh, I'm hoping, since I did not prepare anything, that one of you has a pack of playing cards, because I know... Oh, yes, I do. Good. Thank goodness. Now, honest to goodness, I have not uh, touched this deck before. You have and not. the proof of that is that this says it's a pinochle deck. Is but it? But it's not. It is a oh, pinochle okay. box and a regular All right, deck. All right, because you just scared me. Yes. Because... <laughs> uh, these look to be normal cards, Tom. What kind of a magician are you? As close uh, to but, normal as I can. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, ordinarily in a card trick, uh, the issue of, of the suits and, and, and stuff gets important because usually what happens is someone picks a card and then they lose it and then they find it again, which sort of seems to me too many steps. But in, in this particular case, uh, we're only interested for the time being in the cards as physical implements, okay? And, and in fact, we will only use a few just so that there's no confusion whatsoever. So one, two, three, four cards. That's all we need. Tom, put the rest away. This will be plenty for me. Uh, I want to make this very clear, because I know that some of you have studied that sleight of hand stuff. So when I go like this and say, look, only four cards, <laughs> you, st you start thinking of Spain. <laughs> See, mentalism and card magic do mix. <laughs> but no, really, touch the, touch the edges of the cards and make sure that there are exactly four. It's important that we know that. Uh, they're your cards, so you ought to know as much. Yeah? Okay. Uh, just four cards, and, and as I say, we're interested at the moment. We're not interested in the faces or the values. We're interested in the counting implements. Gene, I see you have pockets, but they have flaps. Now, that yes. means they could be pretend faux pockets. You know, just no, the flaps to look good, or, or they could be, uh, yeah, are, are they pockets. button pockets or snap pockets or, oh, Velcro. Velcro. Very modern. <laughs> this is, this is space age. All right, good. Uh, Gene, what, uh, let me, let me do this, if, if I may. I'm going to place the four cards into your pocket. Okay. All right. And then we'll Velcro it shut. How's that? Look good. All right. So, so Gene, you have how many cards in your pocket? Four. Okay. Uh, without caring about the identities of the cards, I will ask you simply okay. uh, to name any number up to four. And make sure it's a free choice and I didn't steer you in some way. Go ahead. What number? Two. Two. Now, are you sure about that? Positive. Uh, and the reason I ask is I, I happen to know that you're staying in, a, in a, one of the motels near the, the, the L&L studios. Yeah. And I know that motel. The walls are thin. And I have concerns for the other people staying at the motel because later tonight you are going to be sitting up in bed and while the people in the other rooms are trying to sleep on either side yeah. you're going to be saying god damn it <laughs> if i'd only chosen four <laughs> the psychological force was three i would have nailed him on that because he was trying to avoid the psychological choice <laughs> If I'd gone for one, he would have been toast. <laughs> Do you want to stay with two? After consideration, yes. All right. I tried to help. <laughs> now, what did I say at the outset? I said that for the time being, we didn't care about the faces of the cards, the values. That didn't matter at first. Right. It does now. Because in my pocket, I have something of yours. Actually, it's something of Tom, something that you've only borrowed. Okay. Would you reach in and in the most decorous way possible take out what's in my, in my pocket there? <laughs> it is the two of hearts. Oh. You're holding the uh. ace, the three, and the four. Take them out and show them. Well, indeed. Oh, ace. Yeah. Three and four. Wow. Boy, am I glad I'm not staying That's at your motel. <laughs>